Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. And I hope everyone is enjoying this beautiful sunny day here in Victoria. And we have uh, no rain today. <laughs> in fact, I have to turn the heat off. It's getting quite warm in here. So, <laughs> and um, welcome all my subscribers. And um, this is a video where I have true confessions and a silly story to tell you. <laughs> I've had this kit for maybe 10 years. Yeah, I got it off um, the internet somewhere. I forget where, maybe Hirschner's or Mary Maxim or one of those places. Anyway, they didn't have Amazon that long ago, <laughs> so I never got to to get any more new kits unless I went to Michael's and pay an arm and a leg. They had some at Walmart, but Walmart doesn't have much of that anymore. Only if they do online now, if you order on the line. I hint there, I'm waiting for some to come now. It's cheaper than Amazon. So I said I wouldn't buy anything. <laughs> well, anyway, spending freeze didn't last very long. <laughs> I'm still trying to finish things. But this particular one, because I love cats, as you all know, and here's another kitty cat one. And it's cute. Just a sec. I figure out how to set this up. It's got a little um, cats on a shelf and books, of course, and a kitchen. Yeah, we had a kitty like this one. Yeah, and a one, a ginger one that is a little more oranger than that. And my mom loved everything oriental, a kind of blue willow pattern sort of dishes and stuff. She used to have everything oriental in her house. So at any rate, I started this one and I got it gridded and everything over COVID. I gridded a few of my older kits up. And I got about to there, but a week or so ago, I thought, oh, geez, where'd all my thread go? I mean, there was a lot of thread. It was like, uh, I forget how many colors. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, quite a few colors. Yeah. And on cars, like, you know how they do. Jenny Lynn, it's not my favorite, but some are easier than others, but this one had... Anyhow, so I went and picked up to look for my thread and nowhere to be found. Oh, I was having a fit. I had the chart and everything. So <laughs> two days ago, I don't go out much because I'm kind of compromised my health. And anyway, I try to avoid malls and things, but <laughs> I will go to Michael's. <laughs> so I went to Michael's and there was hardly anybody in there. And, uh, picked up some thread that I had maybe half the colors at home already. So I went through my stash of stuff and I found all my colors I had. See what I mean? By different ways of bobbinating <laughs> there, <laughs> that way. And then my mom, I inherited all my mom's thread and it came like this. <laughs> my dad made these actually, but yeah, I wasn't into cross-stitching when he was making them. You know, it kind of goes in spurts. When you have babies, you just kind of don't have time for all that kind of stuff. So these are ones I cut out on my Cricut, and I could pay for cardboard and did it that way. And there's, my, of course, my new ones that I put on there with the number. I wrote the... Oh, I haven't written the number. Oh, those are just ones I haven't written the numbers on there yet, but they're in order, so... Yeah, so that's what my mom had. And then I inherited all her stuff, and this is what I had, this older method. <laughs> so some of my threads are quite old. And so I got all these nice new colors. If they had all the colors except two, <laughs> you know, it's typical Michaels, they don't carry every number there, but in, at least not in Victoria. So I have all these nice new threads that I got for 10 bucks. It was just about, they're a dollar something here. Uh, not cheap. And then we have terrible tax to pay. But anyway, so today I was rummaging around trying to find my, <laughs> trying to find my Christmas, my four seasons to photo, right? And the finished one was in a box. 
And guess what I found? Card A, card B, and card C. Yes. Yes, indeedy. All the threads. Mm -hmm. So there we have it. I mean, that is a lot of thread for this one picture. So I'm so glad I found it because one of the colors didn't quite match the new dye lots. You know, that's the trouble. They do change dye lots every couple of years. So, you know, when you run out, make sure you buy enough of the one color. You just don't expect it to always be the same shade. And so, yeah, so I the, so I thought, oh, no, because I really wanted to work on it the other day, and I didn't have this red. So now I guess I'll have to because it's that really nice fabric. It's a kind of beige color, you know, and the edges are surged, and it's like, you know, it's not that big, and it's only partial. So, like, and there's not a whole lot of back stitching maybe there and around the letters, and a cat, probably. That's eh, typical, you know. So that was that. <laughs> and in the same mode, I was looking for something. I have this kit here, and Dimensions. And I'm not a big Dimensions fan either, because I don't like the fact that you have to pull the thread out of Oh, no, these are ones you have to separate. Oh, no, maybe not. I haven't looked in here. But, yeah, they're not they're not DMC colors, but you can find conversions online to convert this to DMC. Yeah. So I think it's, um, I forgot what it was now, but I did, uh, yeah, so those are all the colors for that, and it's done on, Oh, and on, um, it's a little bird it's a, on a branch for Christmas. <laughs> and then I got <laughs> to look in and I couldn't find the other half of the directions. And guess what? I have the directions now. They were in the, oh, <laughs> hang on. There. <laughs> There, I was missing that. And I, they were in the same <laughs> same container as my other thread. No, actually, there were some... Uh, yeah, I lied. They're in the same box as... The same shelf as some books. I was looking through this morning to see if I could find some pumpkin designs. So, yeah. <laughs> so, it's the other half of the, the bird. <laughs> yeah, it's... The chart's really good. I just find it... Very confetti. Oh, this is the bird. Yep. And so I guess it goes that way. Yeah. So now I take a picture of your kit before you, <laughs> your pattern before you <laughs> start, because you never know when you think you will put something down. And uh, it's done on this nice blue fabric, too. So it's going to be pretty. Yeah a lot of work on that one so that's that and i've had that for a while which i haven't started yet either so i don't know what going to do oh lordy there we go yeah it's pretty i like it you might just frame like laura does stitching with laura just frame the picture and put it on the wall <laughs> i remember her saying that a few times <laughs> yeah <laughs> So that's that, and I hope you enjoyed it. So now I have the possibility of finishing two more projects. <laughs> yeah, well, I got all the thread, and my little bird, where did he fall on the floor somewhere? Yeah. Oh, there it is, hang on. <laughs> so two more possibilities are endless in my house. There we are. Possibilities. That, like I said, don't ever give up because the next project is right around the corner. <laughs> yeah, I really like this kitty. So, I guess I can put these all back on my little hanger thing. <laughs> and the, all my other ones, I'll just have to put them in baggies for now because I, 
have them all hanging here. I was going to rewind them, and I thought, no, nah, I'll just give it a funny one. Maybe it'll turn up. Yeah, it turned up. <laughs> chuckle, chuckle. So that's all for now. I'll talk to you later. Have God bless everybody. <laughs> Lesson learned. <laughs> Take a picture of the pattern before you start because you never know. You think you put things somewhere and you know where everything is. And yeah, good word. <laughs> Cheers. See you tomorrow.